Today, Shelton police arrested this man, Richard Hammond. They say he exposed himself to a male jogger. Now, the incident happened on the Shelton trails right here on Shelton Avenue, and this is not Hammond's first arrest. News 8's Josh Scheinblum joins us now live from News 8 Control with the very latest tonight. Josh? Aaron, the incident has alarmed many who frequent that trail, and now that an arrest has been made, some say they'll be conducting themselves differently next time they visit the area. It's peaceful. It's quiet, never had any issues on the trail. It's close to home. Kimberly Bosherman of Shelton describes the Shelton trails as among the most scenic areas in town, a great place to go for a jog. But this past May, a person here doing just that found themselves in a shocking situation. As they ran, they discovered a man was exposing himself. That's just scary. It scares the heck out of me, you know, bringing the kids here and stuff. Police say the jogger noticed him when he was in the woods. He didn't have any pants on and he began gesturing towards him. Shortly after that, the jogger got in touch with police. Saturday, police announced they'd found the person they believe is responsible for the crime. 52-year-old Richard Hammond of Stratford, a registered sex offender since 1998. He's been charged with breach of peace and public indecency. I guess it just speaks to the police force here and staying on it and taking care of it and not resting till it was done. Amy Scudder is another Shelton resident who frequents the trails. News of what happened here has her considering what she'd do if she ever found herself in a position like the jogger did. I'm a single female. I have a big dog. I feel like that gives me some leverage in a dicey situation. Uh, so I just try to be aware of my surroundings. But others we met say moving forward, they'll be taking a different approach. So I think I will carry pepper spray. I do come here on my own. Probably won't walk by myself. Definitely pepper spray. Stick if I need to bring a stick. <laughs> Hammond will appear before a judge in Derby Superior Court later this month. Now, this is not Hammond's first run in with the law. We did some digging into his past and discovered in 1995 he was convicted of second degree sexual assault. But for now, we're live at News 8 Control. Josh Schengblum, News 8.